Oh. Can I give you a handout? We wanted to, yeah, we wanted to know what this sign over here is about. It's in front of the car, we need to see it. Oh, in front of the, oh, the gay and lesbian looking one? Yeah, what's that about? Okay, so the gay and lesbian movement, um, here, go, come on. The gay and lesbian movement, what they do is they use the rainbow, which is God's symbol that he'll never flood the earth again, right? Yeah. So they use that symbol to say, and they say, we're oppressed. But actually the true oppressed people are not the gays and lesbians. They have parades in public and do what they want, right? They have every right and freedom everybody else has. But the, a child in the mother's womb, like this one right here, has no rights and a mother at 21 weeks can murder that child in Texas. In fact, it happens 60,000 times every year in Texas. Well, because they want rights, right? They're fighting for rights. Oh, so you're saying if they deserve rights, then the baby shouldn't like Everybody deserves rights. Everybody, right? Like, I'm not saying we kill gay people. No, I'm not saying any of that, right? I'm just saying that, look, if it's about rights, let's give them to all humans, all people, gay people were created in the image of God. All right. Like I sin, right? If I lived a life of lying to everybody, like I was a con artist, I wouldn't go to heaven because God says, unless you repent of your sin, like stop living a lying lifestyle that you're not his. Right. So the same thing goes for the, you know, like a gay guy could go to heaven, but he has to repent. If he doesn't repent, if he just says, God made me that way, like child molesters, they say, well, God just made me that way. Right? That's what they say. I'm amazed that you got kids out here doing this. Yeah, that's good, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Teaches them rightly. It is. So, they, sorry. Because they, I know this is not fun to do. They no. could be doing 10,000 other things. Yeah. Why do you do what you do? Because I want to speak for the voiceless. <laughs> yeah, see what happens is? Um, in Texas, there's 13,000 kids right now in foster care that nobody wants. The Christians don't want them. Nobody wants them because they're not babies, right? So they'll go on the black market and buy a baby in Russia or China or Korea or Yugoslavia for 40 grand, right? You can buy them, right? Yeah. And it's illegal. You can buy a white, it's you can legal. buy anything. Now. Yeah, anything you want, right? And it's legal. And that's what people in churches are doing, right? And, uh, but people these kids in- churches in, are doing what? They're doing, they're buying kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> You know, and it's, it's okay. Like nobody goes, oh, you know, you shouldn't buy kids. Like, you know, and you know what? These kids have parents, all right? They're not just buying orphans out of orphanages. No, uh, you know, cause they'll pay that somebody like five grand for their child. And that's like five years wages in some of these countries, you know? Um, so, but uh, 13,000 kids right now waiting to be adopted, right? And there's over 70,000 pastors in Texas. So we call them to repent of that. <laughs> Oh, you're so Christian-like. <laughs> you're so funny. <laughs> what did he say? You're so Christian. He called me. What did he, say? he called me an effing idiot. So yeah. they flipped me off too and stuff like that. But That's fine. Yeah. I it. yeah I, I don't mind it by the way. Yeah, I'll go on this side. That's safer. <laughs> so. People need to learn that freedom of speech is a thing. <laughs> yeah. Well, being obedient to the word of God is what's important, right? Like we all want to sin. We all want to do things we like. We want to not do what my parents say, right? Right? But what happens when we do what our parents say, it blesses us. Not just because our parents are happy with us, but it honors God, right? So we do what God says, no matter what. Like if your parents tells you to steal something or sin, you even want to oppose your parents, right? Like if they say, hey, you should look at porn or something crazy, right? You would say no, because you want to honor God. And in doing that, you're a witness to your parents. So, you know, it's not so much freedom of speech, but it's freedom to be able to um, tell people to honor God, that we're all important, that we're all created in the image of God, you know, and nobody deserves, like God is what, who gives us, you know, rights, you know, not the state, not the churches, you know, so. Okay. Anyway, thanks for talking, so. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at it to see what it says. Okay, let's see it.